is Norm McDonald actually funny? Let's find out. Norm McDonald, man, was a very, very legend in the whole dark humor lane. Now, when I think of dark humor, I think of things that are going to offend people, things that are going to have people get a little, you know, out of control because it's real. And that's where Norm McDonald comes in. Okay, I want to know why you guys like Norm McDonald. Uh, have you ever met him? You ever been to one of his shows? And uh, without further ado, let's get right into Norm McDonald fat jokes. Well, you gained, you gained a lot of weight, so yeah, did you. So I gained 45 pounds. I was going to say something, actually. Why? Well, I thought you'd been gaining some weight. Yeah, I gained 45 pounds. Why? Are you okay? Yeah, what's going on? I'm doing it for a movie. <laughs> for what are? What's the role? What are you playing, Jackie Gleason? <laughs> what do you mean? It's not a particular for a movie. movie. I just think they need. I always need a fat guy in a <laughs> fat movie. Fat guy to be like, You're doing hard. <laughs> you're paying it forward. Hard. Yeah. Hey, listen. Have you noticed my enormous weight gain? <laughs> I've gained no. 45 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you know why I started to gain the weight? I told you. I don't remember. I'm up 45 pounds, and it was for a role oh, in a movie. That's right. It was. Anyways, whatever. What was the role for again? It wasn't a particular role, but I figured they always need a big fat guy in a movie. <laughs> Turns out they don't. <laughs> they have plenty of fat Look. guys that are much more experienced at acting and at being a fat guy than I am. Yeah. Well, you, you were doing a, we were going to be doing a bit where you're like a Jimmy, Jerry Lewis? Jiminy Glick character. Yeah, no, I'm fat. I'm what a, happened? Uh, fried chicken and gravy. Let me tell you something. I thought it was funny. Your part could... <laughs> I thought gaining a lot of weight would be funny. Oh, and also, no, well, I started out, I was funny. doing it for a role, Andy. <laughs> right. I'm serious. No. I'm serious. I was what role? role? Well, there wasn't a specific role, but <laughs> <laughs> people are always looking for a fat guy. I'm telling you, my manager, my no, my landlord, rather, he managed to get rid of 230 pounds of ugly fat. He evicted me. What? Here, read oh, this. I thought you were... No, read this. I want to read that one again. <laughs> Here, read that. Sure, we all know about Norm's astonishing weight gain, but I think it's become a bit wearisome. So let's agree to stop having fun at his expanse. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you want. See, that's what I like about Norm McDonald, man. To take a real comedian to crack about they self and talk about they self as well as talk about everybody else. And that's why I can always commend Norm as Norm is not going to just sit there, talk about everybody, and not even talk about himself. You know, and I got to respect him for that, man. Right respect in the comments for that. About um, how huge and fat my head has gotten. <laughs> but you'll, who'll, I uh, forget it. <laughs> Try iron. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my clothes, Larry, make me look slimmer. But uh, they did not fool that flight of stairs that collapsed under my astonishing new girth. <laughs> Papa, a Papa, a Papa, what do you call that? Papa. Papa John's? Oh, okay. A Papa John's delivery man has been arrested for allegedly selling more than 40,000 in cocaine hidden in pizza boxes. Jesus. To undercover police officers. This raises an important question. Where is all that pizza that was supposed to go in those boxes? Can I have them to eat? <laughs> I'm a big fat guy. <laughs> well, I'm fast. I'm so fat when I get my shoe shine, I have to take the boot black's word for it. <laughs> You haven't seen your penis in three weeks. I'm keeping it clean. Jesus Christ. Well, is that how, what fat people say? My penis? This is where most of my weight goes. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to whatever the fuck this is. I'm going to find a really good joke. You guys talk, and I'll find a good joke. <laughs> to so, end. Adam. Yeah. Is it hard to to not drink? You know you've King gained you know you've gained too much weight, by the way, when uh, your chair guy refuses to work with you anymore. But go ahead. <laughs> when you had your heart attack, yeah. you weighed one ninety five. Now you probably weigh about one seventy five. One sixty one. One sixty one. And what are you? Five ten. Five ten and a half. One sixty one. So you're probably no f body fat. Oh, I have a little bit in the rim here. Yeah, I got more than that. My legs, my arms are thin. My arms are thin. <laughs> I don't have, I used to have jowls, I don't have jowls. I have more chins than How that. old are you? Huh? <laughs> How old are you? I say I'll be 50 in October. I, I am, I, I'm gonna lose it though. Yeah, this is the heaviest I've ever seen. And it. since I've gained it, I sweat like a, like a, yeah, you sweat you know, like, like, yeah. a, like a whore in church. <laughs> I don't mean to be, uh, what? I don't mean to be filthy, but. A whore in church? Yeah, she's nervous, so she sweats You're because. like a Chris a Dorner whore. in a Big Bear cabin. Oh, come on. Well, I'm just That's racist. A bit My of only chance of losing belly. 15 pounds is if I went to a British casino. 
<laughs> to be honest with you, I don't know. Yeah, this is what my doctor told me. I go to my doctor, right? Right, right. I say, uh, I say to my doctor, Doc, uh, uh, what's going on? My doctor says, you are fat. <laughs> I said, how fat am I? He said, you're so fat that uh, if you don't stop, within a month you could have a heart attack or stroke. That's not funny. Well, that's not a comedian. No. <laughs> I was expecting a joke. You're expecting a joke? Yeah, I thought it sounded like my cardiologist. I guess. <laughs> like we have to also commend the fact that you know we gotta love ourselves regardless, and that's one thing that Norm is teaching people: love yourself regardless of what it is. Um, I even heard stories about him having cancer and didn't even really tell anybody until you know it got to the point that it got into. So. The main thing is love yourself. I want everybody to write love yourself. I want you to look in the mirror and love yourself. And love the blemishes. Love the flaws. Don't, you know what I mean? Like, you might as well just love it. You see how he's accepting it? Accept whatever it is for what it is. Well, the doctor did say sometimes the fat moves to your brain and you're, you get dementia. <laughs> yeah, that might be the lard. <laughs> My doctor told me I should start juicing, you know? You mean? But the problem is I don't think he meant ham juicing. <laughs> Yeah, I squeezed a ham and I got some juice out of it. Oh, I thought you. All right, I, uh, I thought you were gonna, That's you so know. stupid. Really? Hey, news media, leave Kim Kardashian alone, will you? She's pregnant. Of course, she's gonna she's gonna gain weight. And if anyone knows about rapid gain, weight gain, it's me. <laughs> you know, I went to see the doctor about it, and he told me to open my mouth and say oink. <laughs> I thought that was a little, a little out of line, Tom. No, listen, seriously, you can be as cruel as you want about it because I'm not being cruel. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to be your friend because well, thank you. your heart could seize up. That's or what my doctor said. I, he did? He said it was alarming. Oh, my God. You know what my and doctor said to, get... to me, Andy? He said, I said, okay, enough of this, you know? He said, okay, we're, uh, open your mouth and say oink. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> come on. You know, I may have told you this, but. My doctor's getting very rude. The last time I went to him, he said, open your mouth and say oink. I, mean, I, was... I think we've come to the fact, you, you need to find a new doctor. I, did, I need to find a new. <laughs> this guy sounds like a real asshole. New internist. Why do you continue to swear? <laughs> I am not. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Do you see your face? Oh yeah, it's me with a huge fat fucking face. Yeah, I didn't want—I didn't want to be the one to say it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've been having a lot of trouble. My doctor, he said uh, he's not a very nice guy. He said, uh, "Open your mouth and say oink." Yeah, you need to get better insurance, Norm. Insurance? <laughs> he was calling me a fat pig. Well, I mean, nobody's gonna disagree with him. Oh. Chasm. I'm sorry, Norm. <laughs> I've got an acid tongue. <laughs> you do. You're an acid-tongued Arab. <laughs> Most guys try to lose weight, right? But I'm, <laughs> I try to become a huge fat guy. So, anyways, he said that's not funny. That's he says that's alarming. I, I think it's funny. I think it's funny yeah, too. Yeah, it's pretty funny. But he said that it's 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 quite alarming, and that um, I'm in a lot of a lot of trouble. And I said, well, I think it's funny, and I'm the comedian. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? I'm not eating well. Yeah, I, know I, know that. I know that. I understand. What did, what did we? We don't need we, video evidence. Of that. We don't need to go to that. Yes. We went to Denny's. You had uh, you had two eggs over my hammy and half my pancakes. Then on the way over here, we stopped at 7-Eleven. You remember that? Yeah. You had a few hot dogs and a big bag of pork rinds. Yeah. And five minutes ago, you had four donuts and a chip wish. Yeah. Well, you snooze. I eat half your fucking pancakes, fucker. <laughs> what did we eat right before we did the show? We, we ate chicken. Yeah. What kind of chicken? What was it called? Honey, honey kettle, kettle chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Yeah, a big plate of it. Yeah. And I asked the girl. A huge mistake. I said, what, uh, uh, why had so much for the extra gravy? <laughs> Give me like a trough of gravy. I've never seen a, that much gravy. No, that was a lot of gravy. You just I drank the gravy. Too. You really did. What did what did we eat right before this podcast? I had uh, three whole fried chickens. What else? I uh, biscuits and gravy. Uh, and? I don't want to say that third thing. What else? <laughs> what was the other thing? Whatever lard. <laughs> exactly. I like lard because there's like a purity to it. <laughs> And you know I grew up poor, you know? Frankly, I was just impressed that they carried lard at the place. You don't see that too often. Yeah, no, I bring that. I brought that with me. A can of lard. <laughs> this, oh is, uh, this is what I used to look like. That's Fathom right there. And uh, That's you? That's me. Are you serious? Yeah. 
That was on a good day, too. Is that like a fake picture? No, that's not a fake picture. Coming up on 250. Do I look like that fucking fat pig? <laughs> well, <laughs> not, maybe not that fat. I mean, this is your future, Norm. It's your past. It's my past and your future. <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a line from a Christmas Carol where <laughs> sounds like it fucks it all up. And how did you how did you lose the weight? Uh, cocaine. Cocaine. Yeah, mostly, yeah, cocaine and other drugs and uh, a very very serious depression. <laughs> that, that helps me a lot, Doctor Oz. <laughs> Do <laughs> you think I should get into cocaine? Well, I mean, it, it worked for me. <laughs> Whatever. All right, well, I'll lose it. You know yeah. what I mean? You'll lose it. I'll lose it will. eventually. I know you will. Do you know who Jonah Hill is? Huh? Do you know who Jonah Hill is? Yeah, the actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah. fat kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about this for a joke? He's a friend of uh, Tatum O'Neill. Good God. You know. Channon, Channon, Jonah Channon. Hill says his heart is broken over the fact he was caught on camera calling a photographer a gay slur. And speaking of things that are broken, Jonah Hill's chair. <laughs> a nice statement. Yeah, it's more of a comment. <laughs> and uh, hey, what about Louis Anderson? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He emceed for me. No, I mean, what about that guy? <laughs> yeah, no, Louis's an old friend too. Yeah, he's he was, from Minnesota. I was so I told everybody that fucker can't jump into a pool from a hundred. <laughs> I, I can't believe he did that. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, that was. Cr I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Trying to get uh, him and uh, also big fat Bruce Valanche. You know that guy? Yeah, it's my trainer. One <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, remember? they used to have a show called Celebrity Fat Guys. Remember that show? No. It was Celebrity Fit Club. Yeah, yeah, Celebrity yeah. Fit Club. <laughs> and so guys would try to get, but some of them were just 20 pounds over it. But then they had big fat Bruce Valanche was on it, so. They, they were immediately freaked out that he was going to die. Yeah. So they said, you just walk. So he's like, walking. But he's the funniest fucker. But other people were on the show like as though like he were their cohort. Yeah, and they were yeah. Like 10 yeah we're only 10, 20 pounds overweight. It's <laughs> like, like, this is your brother. There's, uh, there's That's a one crazy piece here show. I thought you might find interesting. There's uh, Joan Rivers. You were talking about some uh, some old uh, Joan Rivers. She's old. She, she's uh, old, but she's great. Just kidding. Still great. Yeah, <laughs> still great. But she uh, she makes her living, you know, lambasting uh, celebrities. She lambasted uh, the uh, Adele. I love the Adele. British you ever pop heard Adele? singer Adele. I uh, heard of her. And I Voice did. like a... Like a great pipes. She has great pipes. And lungs too. Oh, yes. she's a good singer. Yes, <laughs> and lungs too. And Rivers lungs um, too. would only work if she was a pipe smoker. What? <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Anyway, Joan it. Rivers. Uh, she called Adele, who's 24 years old, uh, chubby, while visiting David Letterman on the Late Show. Oh. And wisecracked. Uh, she sang live and said, "My throat, my throat. I don't know if I can swallow." And I said, "Oh, you can swallow." Oh, come on. What is her song? Rolling in the deep. She should add fried chicken. <laughs> It's finger licking good. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more of this because Adele is one of my most favorite people. Really? Well, she's Adele. talented, she's rich, and she's almost as fat as me. <laughs> I like, you know, I'm, I'm a big fat guy now. I don't want to be seen with thin ladies, you know? And then people will think it's, but you know, you know, look, I know it's wrong to objectify women. You know what I'm saying? Of course. But in our sexual fantasies, I think we do. As men objectify women, don't we? Like yeah. I, like I always think of Adele, like down on her hands and knees with an apple in her mouth. <laughs> so, but it, but that's better. Better than what? That's that's objectifying her. Yes, I'm saying I think we do that as men. Okay. We objectify women, don't we? Yeah. What? Well, don't we? <laughs> I went to see an Adele concert. And, and there was only room for three people in the back. Oh, come on. <laughs> Meaning she takes up the whole. No, I'm... But that's what he does. He makes Chuck's outrage, and then he does fat jokes. No, I'm not doing fat jokes. Well, <laughs> well he genuinely saying, would like to see All I said was I went to see an Adele concert. Oh. And what's the joke? There's no joke. It was disappointing. <laughs> oh, boy. Because she sang a song, and the concert immediately stopped. <laughs> I like Adele. Is there anything wrong with that? Hey, I like the ladies. I like Adele. I like a woman who uh, who knows her way around a funnel cake. <laughs> I thought the joke was... What about Josie? How about the joke should be, Adele is mad at Joan Rivers and crushed her. 
<laughs> Tipped over and <laughs> fell on her. <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't mention them, that name. <laughs> I would love to see a Dallin concert. Oh, I thought that was a sexual. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'd also love to see her on, on my toilet <laughs> eating a Reuben. <laughs> this is my promise okay. to the people of the video podcast network world. I will not eat a single morsel of food until Margaret Thatcher is dead and buried. She died three weeks ago. Who's Margaret Thatcher? We'll be, we'll be right back with Larry King. Who's Margaret? Yo, Norm MacDonald is just a naturally funny man. I think that when he wakes up in the morning, he knew he was funny. His sense of humor is just always dark, and I like the fact that he can turn it on himself. A lot of people can't, you know, handle jokes about themselves. A lot of people dish it out. You know, they push it out. They judge people, but they can't judge themselves. I want to encourage everybody in the comments to love yourself. And if you're not loving yourself, if you are loving yourself, love yourself more. All right? Everybody write love more in the comments. We're at 44,000 on the subs. I want to get to a million. Make sure y'all sub, hit the top bell, and I'll see y'all in the next one.